Hey beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new and just tuning in welcome to this divine conscious podcast I am your host Lotus so I don't know I didn't really like the sound I was trying out a new microphone with my last video I didn't really care for it too much so I went ahead and we're going back with the microphone I originally liked and I had to, to get a new one because my dog well my puppy is teething let's just say that <laughs> so welcome back for all of you who are tuning in right now I'm so very excited for you joining me today so today I have a beautiful transmission from you that is extremely powerful. It is from the Arcturian Council and they, I'm actually channeling it from the 9D, the ninth dimension today. So it's going to be infused with some light codes and I would highly recommend probably after I get into the transmission to take time to really meditate and really take in and process everything that I am speaking on today, okay? Remember, always use your discernment. Everything that I say, I want you to do your own research with, okay? If anything, I encourage you to explore and discover the topics that I am even speaking on. If anything, I hope you coming across my channel I am a seed that has been planted and it's allowing you to, if you're not blossoming now, then later on to blossom. And I hope that it brings some sort of inspiration, love, and it helps you in such a positive way in whatever that may be for your life. Because I am a very unique individual, I know that for a fact. And if you've come across me and I am here on your path, then you are very divine as well and just know it is a blessing that we have met each other so welcome 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 for all of my brand new subscribers if you haven't already liked this video please give me a thumbs up so i want to really take a moment and dive into some of the downloads that i have been receiving from source okay from our creator and they are about the year of 2024 okay i believe there is going it's going to be a very intense year and i believe it's going to be a very intense year because from my understanding the poles have shifted okay and because the poles have officially shifted that means the darkest of the dark like the like literally the darkest of the dark truths are going to have to be revealed because everything must be like come to surface now everything as of 2024 is going to be like a fully exposed to the masses there's going to be no hiding i believe like 2023 basically was like god revealing like kind of removing the whole veil this entire year and now as of 2024 like there's going to be no hiding anymore everything in the dark is going to be exposed everything is going to come out and so i believe our soul tribe is very significant here because i am a firm believer that the reason why we see these downloads is because our tribe are the ones that are here kind of like the ground crew you know what i mean like we're the ones here doing all of the work and kind of paving the way forward for mankind and for humanity we're here because we're self-aware holding the vibration right now of the earth so that the masses can awaken we actually play a very significant role in what's going on right now and so you should be very proud of yourself because you are a very very powerful individual and from my understanding because the poles have just shifted that means as of 2024 that means the antichrist is going to be revealed okay we're going to finally figure out who that is 
Um, that also means that the mark of the beast is going to somehow begin to play out or, you know what I mean? Like that's going to get exposed. All right. So those are like kind of the dark truths that are really going to be getting exposed to the masses. And it is up for us to be prepared for that. Okay. I'm telling you these things and you can take what resonates and leave what doesn't, but I'm telling you these things. And for those of you who truly hear me, you're going to understand but these messages are for you guys so that you can understand that while everyone else is busy with christmas and their family it's important for you to continue to stay grounded doing your spiritual work staying in a high vibration transmuting the energy of your family that's around you you know just going out and walking your dog is the vibration of your neighborhood is raising because you are now walking around your neighborhood and now your energy is moving everywhere if you are feeling divinely guided to go to the grocery store or go to the coffee shop or just go out go out and do something new it is because the divine is guiding you and all of your guides are guiding you to go to certain areas so that your energy can be exposed to these places because your energy is such a high caliber caliber that we are actually protecting these energies around us in our cities we are because our aura is protective you know what i mean and a lot of us we understand how to alchemize and transmute these energies around us you know what i mean and the more that we activate ourselves the more we also activate those around us because we understand how powerful we truly are and the effect that we actually are around others and if you're not aware of that then you should become aware of it now because you truly are a very powerful individual and you should be very self-aware of what you actually do in your actions and stuff like that I that's part of mastery but you already know that if you're tuning in right now you know what I mean <laughs> but we need to begin to prepare ourselves, and this is why it's very important to make sure at this time because it is winter time so a lot of people fall into what they call seasonal depression it's very important at this time to maintain your mental health remember right now this is a war a spiritual war it's a war on consciousness okay so your mind is very important okay your mind is your weapon right <laughs> if you actually know how to become the master of your mind and you have your body in alignment with it i mean you are unstoppable you know what i'm saying and at this point all of us should become self-aware right now that while everybody else in the mass is waiting for the sky to open and the angels to come down we are aware that we are who god sent all of the chosen ones everybody all the sending masters star seed light workers i mean literally all of us right now we are the angels that god sent we are what is talked about in revelation chapter 7 in the bible literally we are them we are not waiting for anyone to save us we are actually the ones here to save them all right that's why it's so important for you to maintain your vibration because you play such a big part and it's time for us to really gear up all right our tribe isn't li not like everybody and everybody is not going to resonate with today's message and that's okay because the people who do resonate with me you're going to really truly be my soul tribe and right now we are really being called to action to prepare ourselves to basically get ourselves ready because 2024 is going to be an intense year for everybody else but we're going to be prepared for what's to come because that is our duty all right and you do this all right don't sit here and get stressed out like oh my gosh like some people get too stressed out like about their responsibility being a leader you showing up and just maintaining your vibration staying in a high vibration and continuing to ascend and evolve and doing your healing work your inner child work your shadow work you know what i'm saying like and continuing to maintain the vessel you doing that some of you that's all you have to do in our tribe because that's all you're supposed to do is maintain the vibration. You're one of the anchors here to help us maintain that vibration. Each one of us are significant and each one of us understand that we are here for our own significant reason, our own significant purpose. 
And for those of you who aren't really aware, okay, some people think that the 144,000, they think that's literally like only 144,000 people out of the 9 billion people here on this planet, okay? That is false, okay? The 144,000 is actually a soul frequency, and that's what each one of us have, okay? When you fully awaken each one of your chakras, I'll actually have to make a video on this, and I'll physically have to break down and show you, like, you have to add up the first five petals, um, uh, which are the first five chakras, okay? And what... Uh, it's kind of complex. I'll have to make a whole video on how you get the 144,000, but the 144,000 is actually a frequency and you got to be mindful that anybody can become a master and anybody can ascend. We are here to awaken as many people and help as many people heal at this time. All right. In my opinion, when it comes to the rapture and then stuff like that, all right, the rapture has already started. Basically, in my perspective of what's going on right now, the firmament is kind of in a time capsule. And what is happening right now is the time has already kind of like begun in a sense. Like, and that's why the enemy knows their time is like basically up. <laughs> and like, so they're trying like to do everything like they possibly can now to kind of like sabotage and ruin stuff because they know that they're, that this is our land and we're taking it back and they're going to have to be forced to leave. You know what I mean? Um, that's why they're trying to ruin and pollute everything and ruin the land for us and just, it, yeah. Um, but we'll dive more into those kind of subjects and topics like that, uh, kind of in deeper discussions. Right now, I just really wanted to kind of dive into more or less people understanding that it is important to kind of prepare ourselves mentally, emotionally, and really allow ourselves to spiritually get ready. And why everyone else is wasting money on Christmas. It's great to get gifts for people, but they don't have to be so expensive, okay? And remember that the most valuable thing that you could possibly ever give anyone, but this is just my opinion, is your time. Because time is something that is more valuable than money because once given, you can never receive again. And time is something that, in my opinion, when someone truly gives you your time, they're giving a piece of them, you know? And when I give my time, I'm literally giving you like my undivided attention. I'm not really on my phone. Like when I'm giving you my time and we're hanging out, like that's our time. You know what I mean? Like this is our space. I dedicate it to whoever I'm hanging out with or wherever I'm going. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a very sacred individual and I understand being a Reiki master, how valuable time is. And I was always taught that time is what you make it in this world. And so to me, understanding the valuable of time is, I don't know, it's very important. So right now I find it extremely important to use this time very wisely. And especially because a lot of us, when we get cold, we often go into like hibernation mode. So this winter, when you're going into hibernation mode, instead, set yourself up for success, all right? Continue, remember, the more self-discipline you are, the more godly you are. And it's very important to prepare yourself for what is to come, and especially because when the mass start to understand and the truth start to get revealed to them, things that we already know, they are needing to catch up kind of to we, where we are at now when it comes to our conscious level in our awareness when we in the understanding of some of the things that we know um if you're tuning in right now okay and it's nothing against them just understand that they have their divine purpose here and we for the most part have been doing like the hard groundwork okay but we've also been like paving the path forward so that they can follow us all right so when it comes to their ascension and when it's time for them they are actually going a lot of them are going to rapidly wake up all right and i believe a lot of that when we have this like rapid wake up with the masses is going to happen when um a set of solar flares i believe like hits everybody 
but maybe we'll dive into a deeper video when it comes into like solar flares and the blue sun and subjects like that if you guys want to know like certain things like that or if you know certain things like that you know drop it down in the comments below let me know you know how much do you really know about what's going on right now <laughs> um so but because this world is very interesting and the more that you understand and the more awake i guess or self-aware that you become of the truths it's just uh, fiction is truth is like i don't even know like fiction feels like it's not even i can handle that <laughs> some truths you find out about this world you're just like even some i don't know i would say some things don't amaze me anymore but i don't know some things being revealed i'm just like wait what like they, they just take you back you know what i mean <laughs> oh but let's go ahead and kind of dive into this transmission now from the Arcturian Council. And I do highly recommend that everybody after this transmission to kind of meditate and really allow everything from this transmission to really kind of be processed okay so it's very important after after every transmission because these are from the higher councils to actually meditate and take in everything that they are saying all right so i'm gonna go ahead and begin greetings from the arterian council we are so pleased to connect with you all we are very happy to remind all of you of how far you have come on your journey. We know that you have all evolved tremendously throughout the course of your lives. And we want to assure you that everyone here on earth at this time is on a journey of evolving their consciousness. I understand it might seem like there is no hope for certain members of your family or certain segments of the population and so forth. But in actuality, you are here to provide hope to those who are still asleep and to those who are purposely trying to stay asleep. You hold the template and all of the codes within for all of others to follow. You are there to demonstrate to others how it is done. You really are the light that is shining in so many others' darkness. That's why it's important to shine as bright as you can at this time. I want you to remember that even if you do write that book, or don't get around to actually writing it at all, that it's going to be okay. Because you just being alive right now, and you being yourself, is impacting the entire collective consciousness. What you've been able to accomplish up until this point and how you've been able to grow, transmute, and evolve at this time, you should be extremely proud of yourself for. In this lifetime, simply raising your vibration and healing your bloodline is impacting the collective instantly without you even realizing it. Because remember, everything is happening in the now now that being said many of you do indeed have a book inside of you that needs to be written <laughs> many of you have stories to share and we want to remind you that you don't have to wait until someone invites you to share that story that right now we are all being activated and told at this time to open up and express oneself your authenticity is needed the most at this time. The more authentic you are, the higher your vibration. There are a lot of speculations right now that are floating around in this new age that are filled with a lot of events that are cataclysmic events. And a lot of us who are self-aware and awake actually might have the same feeling inside of us that 
maybe a large portion of the population just isn't going to be able to ascend like us and make it to the new earth because <laughs> i know i've kind of been concerned but we are being asked right now however to hold the space for everybody all right and at this time we are being asked to have faith all right because even though it may seem like things aren't going to actually go in our favor, just remember, we do actually win the war, okay? The light does win. There is hope. <laughs> we are that hope. So just because right now it seems like there's a large portion that are not awake, we are being told not to actually focus on the mass right now and to actually focus individually on ourselves. And this isn't selfish. This is actually completely necessary because the more that we go within right now and focus on ourselves, the more that we are going to be stable and prepared for what is to come. All right. Do not be fooled by those who not awaken. Everyone has a divine purpose at this time. Even if you do not understand what someone's purpose is, remember that it is not your job to understand them. It is their job to understand their own purpose. And one can only truly do that by connecting with oneself from within. Once you connect with yourself within, then I believe you will have your connection also with God because you and God are one of the same. Now each of us has laid the groundwork for everyone else to follow. You are opening up in spite of the fact that you don't know how it's going to be received by others. And I am so very proud of each of you for your courageous act at this time. Each of you may notice that your throat chakra has been activated and this is being reflected throughout the entire collective consciousness. I am here to tell you that it is time for you all to recognize that whatever the state of the world is today from your perspective, the growth experiences that are available to everyone as a result of the state of the world are what you are really here to experience. You didn't come forth just to get it all right and do it all perfectly the first time. You didn't become a master overnight. For many of us, it has taken hundreds of times or more to get to this place where we are all at now. And for all of those who can see the path of ascension for all of humanity, you know that timeline is available to you and everybody else. We all have the free will to choose it. You don't have to worry about the predictions that are all out there that are telling humanity what they really need to do in order to awaken. All you need to do is trust the process and trust the creator. And you need to believe and hold space for humanity. And that all starts with you. You need to believe in yourself. You are a representative of humanity. They are a reflection to you. And if you can see yourself in humanity, then that means you have made it to the next level. And it is our duty to help our fellow humans do the same. This is the part where every leader who makes it to the top can now officially lean over and help every single person climb with them. It's important to recognize how powerful you truly are and to remain holding space for all of mankind so that everyone can have the ascension of joy, peace, and love that we all truly desire. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with all of you. I feel like that is probably a good place for me to go ahead and signing off. I think that's where we're going to end it at. 
So if I resonated with you today, please make sure to smash that like button and hit the you know what, yeah that's right, subscribed and hit that bell to stay up to date with all of these brand new Divine Conscious podcasts. And remember that you're not in this alone. We are all in here together. And I encourage all of you to please comment below if you have certain topics that you want me to discuss. I am all about it. All right. Let's talk about it for real. Let's have these conversations that people aren't really having, but we want to discuss because our soul is just a different caliber and we simply just think differently the most so go ahead drop it below i encourage everybody it is a safe channel here i encourage everybody to always keep an open mind and remember that we are here to grow and connect and it is okay for our differences it's okay for our opinions it's okay for our different perspectives all right we are all a beautiful puzzle piece that is part of a massive puzzle so just remember you are here for a reason you being alive matters all right even if you think it doesn't you are my beautiful sunshine <laughs> all right before i start singing i'm gonna get off here <laughs> i love you guys so very much i am signing off all right everybody have a blessed day blessed night namaste